Hey, my name is Milan, and in this video I want to show you how you can set up Grafana with OpenTelemetry and integrate it into a .NET application for a complete observability stack that comes packed with metrics, traces, logs, and alerting, and much more. I'm going to use Grafana Cloud, which is a cloud-native observability stack. It's fully managed, and it combines together many popular services like Grafana for visualization, Prometheus for metrics, Loki for structured logs, and Tempo for distributed traces. Now, what's really cool about Grafana Cloud, which is a managed solution, is that it comes with a very generous free plan. You get 10,000 metrics for free, 50 gigabytes for logs, 50 gigabytes for traces, and this is probably more than enough for the majority of applications. Now, the downside is you only get 14 days of retention, and and if you need more, you can move to one of the paid plans. Now, all you have to do to get started with Grafana Cloud is create your free account. Now, I also want to take a look at the pricing, which contains more details about the free plan and all of the paid plans. And you can see that on the free plan, you get access to all of the Grafana Cloud services, although they are capped in the amount of resources that you can use. Now, as I said, you get 10,000 metrics and 50 gigabytes of logs and traces. You can also use K6 for performance performance testing your application, and Grafana Cloud also comes with alerting built in. So I'm going to jump into my account, and then this is what you're going to see when you set up your instance. You can go into the actual Grafana Cloud stack to manage the services that you have configured, and you can see I have access to Grafana, Prometheus, Loki, Tempo. There's also support for OpenTelemetry, which is what I'm going to be using to export my telemetry data from a .NET application into Grafana Cloud. Now we can also configure alerts, and this is a very useful feature. And then there are a couple of other services that I'm not going to cover in this video. Now, if I launch my Grafana dashboard, here's what it looks like. And currently I don't have any traces, logs, or metrics because I haven't yet connected my .NET application with Grafana Cloud. So let's first jump into our .NET app and see how we can configure OpenTelemetry. Now I won't be implementing implementing everything from scratch. Instead, I'm going to start from an existing and functioning solution that contains two services, an eShop API and then a separate component for the shipping API. And this application implements a couple of simple use cases, but what I want to focus on is the existing OpenTelemetry setup. OpenTelemetry is a cloud-native standard that allows you to easily create and export telemetry data from your applications. Mainly, this includes metrics, traces, and logs. To configure OpenTelemetry, you're going to say add OpenTelemetry, configure your resource, where you can set up your service name, and then you can set up the telemetry signals. In this case, I'm setting up tracing with HTTP client instrumentation, ASP.NET Core instrumentation, EF Core instrumentation, MPG SQL, and then a data source for my mass transit telemetry. So this is a distributed application that also uses a RabbitMQ instance for messaging. Now, where are all of these extension methods coming from? Let me right click on my eShop API, and then I'm going to say manage NuGet packages. Now I'm going to filter to just packages containing open telemetry, and we get a couple of the libraries that we have installed. Now, the most important ones are the open telemetry exporter, open telemetry protocol, which configures the exporter for our telemetry data. There's also open telemetry extensions hosting, and this is going to run a hosted service, which is actually going to send our telemetry data to any destination that we have configured. And then we have a couple of instrumentation libraries for SP.NET Core, EF Core, HTTP Client, and I also have an additional one for MPG SQL because this is the database that I'm using under the hood. Mass Transit, which is a messaging library that I'm using, supports open telemetry out of the box, and I just need to enable the respective listener to start exporting telemetry data. Now let's go back to the application and I'm going to add an additional section here to configure the metrics. I'll say with metrics and then we can pass in a delegate and let's say metrics add and let's see which instrumentations we have. There's the ASP.NET Core instrumentation, there's the HTTP client instrumentation, the MPG SQL instrumentation and this should be enough to get some interesting metrics data from our application. What about enabling logging? Well, I can introduce support for logging with OpenTelemetry by saying builder logging at OpenTelemetry, and we can configure the OpenTelemetry logger options. I'm setting include scopes to true and include formatted messages to true. And finally, there's this line here 
that says use OTLP exporter, which is responsible for starting an exporter for all of our configured signals. Now, let me make sure I have the same setup of metrics in my other application. So I'm going to add the code here and let's also copy our logging setup into my second application. Now, the next thing we need is somewhere to export our telemetry data. And right now, I do have support for this configured using the Aspire dashboard, which I can run as a Docker container using this image. And this exposes an endpoint where I can send my telemetry data. By default, this endpoint is available on the port 18,889. And then I just have to prefix this with my service name. So I can pass this to this environment variable, OTEL exporter, OTLP endpoint, along with the respective protocol. In this case, I'm using gRPC for exporting the data. And this this should make my telemetry data available in the Aspire dashboard. So I'm going to run the application locally using Docker Compose. And while this is starting, I'm going to go to my eShop API and open up the HTTP file. And I just want to send a post request to create an order. This is going to kick off a couple of other operations inside of our system, and we should get an interesting trace when the application starts. I'm going to send a dummy post request from Postman, and let's actually send a couple requests. And if I open up Docker Desktop, you can see I have my services running, and one of those is the Aspire dashboard. So let's go to the local port where the dashboard is hosted, and by default, we land on the structured logs. You can see the individual logs here, and which service created them. If I go into metrics, we can see the metrics for our two services along with any custom metrics but what i'm interested in is the distributed traces and let's take a look at this trace here for creating an order and you can see we have a couple of spans in this trace which touch on our two services so there's the post request to our initial api storing the data in the database and then publishing a message using rabbitmq the other service receives this message but it also sends an additional request back to fetch some missing data and find Finally, it completes the request and consuming the message by storing some information in the database. We can also see what the SQL query is. So it's an insert into the shipping schema shipment records table, and this will complete the entire flow that you can see here. So this is currently working locally, but I want to export all of this information into my Grafana Cloud instance. So let me show you how we can do this. If I go back to my Grafana Cloud instance, I mentioned the support for open telemetry. Let's click configure, and this will give you the open telemetry endpoint where you can send your signals. This includes metrics, traces, and logs, as I've said a couple of times already in this video. Now, how do we actually connect to our specific instance? The endpoint itself isn't enough. You have to generate a token, and you can do so by going to the password slash API token section and clicking generate now. And then let's give our token a name. I'm going to say Grafana demo and create token. And this will give me a token that I can use, and you can copy this value. But what what I'm actually going to do is scroll down and notice that the environment variable section is now filled in. And it contains a couple of environment variables that we can set inside of our application to start exporting telemetry data. So I'm going to grab the open telemetry endpoint and we want to set this value instead of the Aspire dashboard. We also need to update the protocol to HTTP slash protobuf. So I'm going to replace gRPC with the new protocol. And then we want to set the OTL exporter OTLP headers. So let's go ahead and add that as an environment variable. So I'm going to drop it here and I'll get rid of the quotation marks in the contents of my header. And what the header actually contains is an authorization header that we're going to include when exporting our open telemetry data. And it just contains my token encoded as a base64 string. Now I'm going to pass this value to both of my applications. And now when I start the application and generate some traffic, we should see some data available inside of Grafana Cloud. So let's start the application. From Postman, I'm going to send the same request a couple of times. This will make sure that we have sufficient telemetry data to observe in our Grafana instance. And finally, let's go back to the Grafana dashboard. If I go into the log section, you'll see that we have some structured logs available. They're coming from the eShop orders API and the eShop shipping API. 
API. So then you can drill down into the logs that you're interested in and you can observe the information for the structured log itself. So this is going to contain what was the request path. This is a GET request for fetching the order's shipping info and it also contains the SQL query that was executed to fetch the information needed for this request. Now there's also support for traces and if I go into the individual traces you can see what is the trace name and it just follows the name of our operation. So let's check out a trace for creating an order and you can see that it contains the same spans as before except it's now available in the Grafana cloud through the Grafana dashboard. And this is a distributed service that you get for free where you can start exporting your traces and logs and being able to observe what's happening inside of your system. So you can see we have our request that contains the information. This is our application connecting to our database and then sending a SQL query. In this case, it's an insert into the orders table. And then we have a publish of a message using RabbitMQ. And this contains additional information of where the message is routed. And it also contains the actual message name. In this case, the order created integration event. Then you can see that we are leaving the scope of our first service, the eShop Orders API, and landing in the eShop Shipping API. They are color coded so that you can differentiate between them and then you can observe the traces for this particular service. Let me know in the comments what you think about Grafana Cloud and if you would use it inside of your systems. If you want to learn more about building observable applications, take a look at this video next. Check out my courses if you want to improve your software architecture skills. And until next time, stay awesome.